Hi, it's been a while since I've been on here, um, a long time since I've made a junk journal as I've been setting up my business Rewitched and doing some craft fairs and seeing how that goes and it's, uh, yeah, it's going really well at the minute but I really wanted to get back into doing some journals, um, A to sell and B just because I miss doing them. I've wanted to do this whimsical woods and a dark woods which I've called the Forbidden Forest which is the next book to do for a long time now um, and I've just completed the whimsical woods and I thought I'd do a flip through of that journal for you. It's ended up far chunkier than I thought it was going to do. It originally had five signatures in it and it's now got two in it because I just couldn't fit any more in it. That's my fault for using an old book and not having a big enough spine. But I'm still really happy with the way it looks. Um, it is a nine and a half inch book by six inches wide. It's got a one and a half inch spine, which is tiny um, for what I wanted to do. But it is what it is. I'm going to do and show you the tassel first because it's noisy. So. I made a small tassel. I didn't do a big chunky one because the book's chunky enough and I didn't think it needed it. So I've just used some of the threads and fibres that were in the journal. I've put some wooden beads on. I just stained those. Um, I put some beads on a string with some little leaf embellishments. Um, that's an old necklace, I think, there. It's got some beads on it. Um, and I've just attached it to a bulldog clip. So that just clips onto the spine and can be detached. So I'll just pop that out of the way. Okay, this is, as you can see, majorly chunky journal. So I used an old book, um, just took the innards out and then I made this tree bark looking cover um, using a glue gun and painted it. Got my little owl on the front. And then I made a little sign out of some lollipop sticks and I've called it the Whimsical Woods. The fastener I've used, I've just used, I didn't know what to use, sometimes I use jewellery. Um, but today I decided to use uh, Sabi silk. So I'll just undo it. Oh, this is going to probably burst open now. All I did was put some eyelets on there. I'm sorry if you can hear screaming now. <laughs> the neighbour's kids have just come outside to play. <laughs> so. This is what she looks like from the side. It's got loads of little dangles on. I'll show you those as I go through the book. This is just what I wanted. I wanted to have a fully loaded journal with loads of dangles on it. So we go inside. I've lined the inside cover with just strips of coffee dyed sheet, cotton sheet that I had. And in here we've got a little pocket and I've made some tags to go in there. There's a lot of the bits I've sewn around there. Just a little notebook in there. And on this side there's just a, a little saying. Again, some more little, that's a little envelope that I made. Here, this little dangle is a pine cone. I put a tag on. Obviously, I did have five on, but I had to take them out, so there's only two of those with the tabs on them. I'll just use some different fibres on the edge of this one. Some of these are just stuck on as a journaling space. I've tried to leave some journaling space, but there's lots of bits in it to journal on. If not, there's some little tags that I've made. 
it's just plain on the back for journaling space and a lot of the pages are edged with different ribbons and oh, all sorts all sorts of things so here that's a little, just a little journaling card that I've tucked in there this little one here it's got lots of little pockets it's got a little dragonfly hanging on it and this opens up with more pockets inside and here I made a little bookmark with a little rabbit on it just slots in there when it's closed it sits in quite sweet here I've got a clear pocket and I think I had this one sent to me on a rack I thought it looked lovely and it fitted in with this journal really really well <coughs> excuse me and put a little ticket on there here I've just done some stenciling with ink um, again more little tuck pockets my daughter made one of these with the journal she's doing she's doing notion journal it's her first journal and she made one of these with all blues in hers she just stamped a card and then put fabric over the top and put some sprinkles in it and I thought it was such a lovely idea I pinched it and sewn all around the edges of that one some pages I've left quite plain just so you can journal in them some papers I've used this is moss on there Little beads, That's a little green bead, it's a little flap there you can tuck something into. Okay, another little tab there. That's a real oak leaf that I dried and then I've um, maybe put Mod Podge on it. I've had it years. <clears throat> this one, I think, is one of my favourite pages. So this opens the envelope, it's got a little pocket inside it, another little tag, getting some little tags in there, more journaling space, this one opens out, journaling space in there, sorry it's not in frame is it there? does too. I can't remember. <laughs> yeah, that one opens out as well. I love that page. And there I've got a little rabbit hanging on there with a bead. Some little journaling spots. I made these a long time ago. I suppose you could use it as a bookmark or I don't know, but I thought I took it in, it just went well there. Here. This just opens out. Journaling space in there. A couple of little pockets in it. Tags. an acorn and I just drilled through the top so I could dangle it on there. So I'll show you some little flowers. It's just journaling space. This one's edged with some leaves and this page is stuck. No it's not. It's a pocket on the other side. It's got a journaling card in. That one's got a shine to it. I used embossing powder on that one. And this one is, I've got some veined leaves and I just um, inked over the top of it. Some little journaling cards. And that's that tea bag. Just stamped onto that. It's embossed piece of paper, this card with fabric on it. 
and there there's the little beads the little round pockets That's the leaf again. Uh -huh. What did I do with that one? I think I just sprayed coffee. I had coffee in a in a sprayer. Just laid the leaf down and sprayed over the top of it on that one. That's the leaf. Little pockets there. A little dangle on that one. The tree. You see on there. Yeah, I've got a little bird. I've tried to put the all the little dangles sort of matching around a page that it's close to. Just more journaling space there. It's a butterfly on that one. See that butterfly dangle. These are some embossing that I did on some pieces of card and I just went over it once it was embossed with um stained walnut and it just really makes it stand out and, and pop i think they look absolutely lovely a bit of tuck spot there here a little fox's face there's a belly band there some bits of journaling cards in there these are just some little notebooks that i made one on either side some stamping. Here's a leaf, a little wooden embellishment and a bit of paper. Some more of the moss there. This one here I did a, a weaving with this. This is all handwoven with strips of card. Some eco dyed fabric that I did. And made it into a journaling card. Here, I've just got some more journaling space. And there's a little squirrel on that one. It goes with the page, the squirrel. And on that page too. And that was the first signature. Move on to the second signature. This again is another one of those little fold up. It's got little tucks in it, and this opens out. There's a little card there with acorns on the top, and then it opens up again. And it's got some little tuck spots and a little notebook area there. Another pocket at the side. It's another one of those cards. This one's got a bee on it. It's so hot. Old. Okay, well, that's an envelope on the side. With a little pocket in it. Little toadstool hanging. That's a number more of the eco dyed paper. And then in there I just put some little tabs. Little tabs in there. There's another of a B one. Get the light on it. it yeah. Shiny. It's another one of those leaves. I just coloured that one. Green, left some journaling space, and there, there's a butterfly, a little wooden tab that's stamped. Some journaling space, this one is some leaves with a bead, a couple of little pockets, and envelopes, and I put bits in there. So whoever buys it can have a look and see what's in there. Okay, and little embellishments and bits in there and also in that little pocket there. And this one is some more of the eco dyed paper, not paper, fabric on this side. 
and that's stamped on with coffee. I think I did that one with. And there, there's a little mushroom embellishment on that one there. This here is make little pockets. There's a tuck spot there, and at the front, notes inside. Little notebook here, and this is one of the flat pens. Um, that Betty Calkins makes. I watch a lot of her videos, and she's just super books, absolutely love them. Um, so, I made one of those little pens to pop in there. Another acorn. And a little hedgehog there as well. Journaling space. Another pocket that I made there and I've just stuck some tags in. Little bees. It's another tuck spot. And on the centre page on this one I've put on a little wooden tab. And a little flower. More little tuck spots. More eco dyed fabric. A little bit of journaling space. More pockets. That's a tea bag that I've used there. That's a little notebook that's just on a little belly band there. More cards. This one's got a little owl on it. Another bigger belly band. It's got a bird on that one. Journaling space. There's another envelope. I use some. I think I think I took it from my husband. Actually, he uses it on his plants in the garden. But I absolutely loved it, so it's mine now. And in there, there's a little tuck spot behind there. Have two little bits in inside and more tabs inside there. Here there's a tree hanging on there. That's a little notebook which folds out. Little flower on that one. opens out, should open out. There's a little picture on each one and then it's just journaling space inside. I left a bit of journaling space at the back because I just could not fit anything else in. And in the back here this little pocket there with a few more bits and pieces on. There's a little butterfly on there and a little snail. And in the back here, there's a couple of little tuck spots, another little envelope with bits in. And then I've put my handmade by Sarah on the back with my rubrics. So that is the whimsical woods. I hope you've enjoyed the flip through and the second part to this book will be the forbidden forest which I'll be working on next. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Give it a thumbs up if you like it and hopefully I'll see you soon. Bye!